Former advisor to George W. Bush, uh, Republican Karl Rove, is saying Trump's current slump in the polls may not just be part like a blip, but part of a longer trend. On Fox News on Saturday, Rove broke down why he thinks this is the case. There's been a trend since the, Mar the May 30th guilty uh, verdict in, in the New York uh, case. So Biden has had uh, numbers that have been, mo been moving up a little bit under women and seniors. He's still underperforming among women. Trump is doing well among black, Hispanic, and young compared to previous Republican campaigns and his own. But you're right. Absolutely, the movement is among independents, and they have moved in, in, in uh, recent polls roughly nine points towards Biden. 21 percent of independents in a, in a survey shortly after uh, the conviction said that they would be uh, less likely to vote for Donald Trump as a result uh, of the conviction. Now, I mean, you know, John Heilman, again, in, in close elections where Michigan, where Wisconsin, where Pennsylvania is going to be decided probably by under a point, that sort of uh, fluctuation voting matters. The one thing Karl Rove did not bring up that Donald Trump will tell you is he has the Joan Rivers vote locked away oh just God. like he has in the past so yeah. that he's at least got that on the side but independents have broken away and um I, again we we hear it every four years donald trump's going to get 20 percent of the black vote 25 percent of the black vote it just doesn't happen mm -hmm. well as i i will you know uh, begin by singing my usual song here margin of error race going to be really close going to be a margin of error race all the way through to election day and we're still in the margin of error but um, in the same way that we talk about how, like, any individual poll doesn't matter very much, but trend lines matter. Um, you know, I sat down with, uh, with Jenna Malley Dillon last week and talked about the numbers, and you look at the fact that Trump's basically this year, calendar year, Trump's peak lead in the polling averages was at its peak in January, after the Her Report came out, about four points. Um, last week, again, within the way inside the margin of error, uh, for the first time all year, at the 538 polling average, uh, Biden moved ahead by a, a trivial number, but it's a four point over the course. It's not just the last month, I would say. I mean, Karl Rove knows these numbers, but it's not just the last month. It's a six month, very gradual trend line that's heading in Joe Biden's direction. And Joe, to your point, closing a four point gap over six months in a race that's a margin of error race uh, is, 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 is meaningful. And I asked uh, uh, Jen O'Malley Dillon about whether they're seeing those same numbers, not just on the national level, but in the battleground states, and whether the verdict seems to be playing a part in it. And her answer was yes, uh, that they're in the battlegrounds mm -hmm. they're paying attention to, uh, that they're seeing, again, on the margins, small, uh, but meaningful, appreciable, but measurable, uh, inching towards Joe Biden in a consistent way across the trend lines, and that the verdict seems to have made a difference to that. Um, again, we're so far inside the margin of error that you couldn't be more inside it. But it's meaningful, I think, and I think it's what Carl is picking up on there in that clip. And I think that both sides know it. The reason that explains part of why the pressure on Trump is mounting around this debate as much as it is on Biden. Pressure's high on both of them, but I think the Trump campaign sees the movements in these numbers because they are not dumb about reading polls either. Hey there, MSNBC fans. I'm Luke Russert, and be sure to join me, Rachel Maddow, Jen Psaki, Lawrence O'Donnell, Steve Kornacki, Joy Reid, and many more September 7th in Brooklyn, MSNBC Live Democracy 2024. Click on the link for ticket information. We will see you there.